I'm Dr. Chad Larson. By far the most common internal medicine issue that people come in complaining about is gastrointestinal problems. Whether it's changes in uh, bowel movements like constipation, diarrhea, or gas bloating, abdominal discomfort, abdominal distension, uh, heartburn, indigestion, it's so common. Um, it's a very, very common problem. And it's very, uh, uncomfortable with people who have these issues and we've talked about many times before that the health of the gut very much dictates the health of the rest of the body so it's really really key to get this right and help people to improve their gastrointestinal function and there's a lot of things to consider um, oftentimes we have to run lab tests to really um, understand what's going on with each individual but I've never helped somebody with their gastrointestinal tract without changing something about their diet. The diet, obviously the foods that we consume drag through the gastrointestinal tract every single day. So it's, you know, a pretty obvious place to start is looking at people's diets. And it could be a variety of things. They could have a food sensitivity. So maybe we've done food sensitivity testing to find out that they're sensitive to some kind of food that's causing inflammation and immune system activation and causing a whole cascade of issues in their gastrointestinal tract. Um, but there could be other things, general things about the diet that we know are just going to be a problem for the majority of people. And there's some things that we want to almost across the board eliminate from people's diets and also across the board help to kind of replace back of their diet. And those two things are very simple and they are, we uh, usually need to eliminate sugar with most people, whether it's sugar sweetened uh, beverages or it's um, consuming too many sweets and things like ice cream and cookies and chips and candy bars and things like that. Um, but also refined uh, processed grain type products. Think of like um, refined crackers and chips and sweets and pastries and cookies and cakes and even certain types of breads and um, pastas and things like this where the grains are highly, highly refined and processed. And in fact, when they study this, they use the term ultra processed. And what is happening in ultra processed foods is that they're completely stripping the grain of fiber, of fat, and of protein. And you're pretty much just left with just kind of a, a very, very uh, carbohydrate rich powder that frankly the body's just not designed to live on without some fat, protein, and fiber right there along with it. So vegetables, on the other hand, have um, a lot of carbohydrate in them as well, but they're trapped in a fibrics, a, uh, a fibrous matrix. And this fibrous matrix completely changes the way the gastrointestinal tract uh, responds to these kind of foods. So it's not a anti-carbohydrate thing. It's the what type of carbohydrate and how's that carbohydrate being introduced into the system. And so that's the thing that we add back in is vegetables. So oftentimes uh, from a carbohydrate standpoint, we're just kind of changing out the source of the carbohydrates, but vegetables, add so much more than just a certain type of carbohydrate. They are loaded in nutrients like vitamins and minerals and things like minerals like magnesium and fantastic for the gastrointestinal tract. Also other phytonutrients, which we've talked about in the past. These things, these terms that aren't as, as uh, well known and common uh, terms that people know about, but these phytonutrients are loaded in these vegetables. In fact, this is the only place that we can get phytonutrients in produce. Uh, f fruits and vegetables. So we got to consume these to get these into our system and reap all the fantastic benefits that these kind of foods and nutrients give us. Um, so these things are just kind of straight across the board that everybody really needs to improve the vast majority of time if I'm helping somebody with a gastrointestinal problem. Um, so we've got to take out the sugars and sweets and pro ultra processed grains, which just to reiterate, it's typically the ultra processed form that most people are, are consuming these grain based foods in. So very rarely are, are people actually eating whole grains. It's usually almost always in this sort of ultra processed form. So it's very common. Um, and there's been just a ridiculous amount of clinical research um, pub published in, in good top tier journals, helping us understand the really negative impact 
that these type of foods have on the gastrointestinal tract. And then at the same time, we want to incorporate um, vegetables. These vegetables, having all these great variety of nutrients, are really reparative and supportive to gastrointestinal function. Um, and sometimes it's difficult for people to get high quality and high variety organic sources of vegetables. So sometimes we have to use a supplement to support as they're transitioning and understanding where to what they need to do to get these kind of foods. Uh, so we could supplement a greens sort of superfood product. Um, my favorite one is called New Greens and it comes in three different uh, flavors of berry a classic, which is just kind of, let's say, the way that nature intended. And there's also a uh, kind of a mint lemony, which is probably my favorite. But um, these offer this type of variety of vegetables that is very difficult to get on your own. Plus, because these are all organic and it's difficult to get all these in the grant organic just by, you know, going to the store. But this is the next kind of idea here with these supplements is quality really matters for the support of the gastrointestinal tract because um, most of the green type products that you find out there are basically juiced vegetables that are then, then dehydrated under very high heat. And the high heat in this kind of processing uh, really changes the nutrient profile, the flavor profile, kind of wipes out all the good stuff that we really want you to get. And so by contrast, New Greens has freeze dried and sprouted ingredients, which totally maintains the nutrient level, the enzyme level, the flavor profile, just as if you were consuming the actual whole food. And there's very few, few in fact, I really can't think of any other greens supplements um, that can make that claim, where it's totally um, freeze dried and sprouted. And oh, by the way, it's all organic by, uh, grown by farmers right here in the US. So it's also supporting US organic farmers. Um, but from a patient perspective, this is a really great way to supplement and increase and boost. Let's say you already have, you know, a pretty decent amount of vegetables that you're consuming. This is a great boost. Uh, maybe you want to do some intermittent fasting, but you don't want to completely you not have anything at all. So this is a very, very low calorie, but very nutrient dense way to really infuse your body with these fantastic nutrients. So New Greens, I'm recommending it for most of my patients who have some kind of gastrointestinal issue. It's just a great supportive nutrient to help uh, support the gastrointestinal tract as we're working on repairing it and getting the inflammation down and getting it functioning uh, normally. So if GI issues is something that you've had or that you currently are dealing with, this should be part of, of your protocol. So um, we have a few different, they have a few different uh, flavors for you to try out. And I think uh, you'll like them, probably like them all. They taste really good because um, they they are freeze dried. They they kind of maintain their natural flavor profile, and then a couple of them actually have some flavor support, all natural kind of flavor support in them to make them even more palatable. So they're really easy to drink. They're delicious. I think you'll like it. So try it out. Um, Gastrointestinal issues are just so common, and I really encourage you to prioritize helping your gut function as much as you can. So I will keep reading the studies and bringing you the information. Until then, keep it real.